Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are live at Cafe No Se in Antigua, Guatemala for our first international session of all time with Gabby Moreno right now. Happy birthday, Gabby. Thank you. <laughs> Man, yeah. what, a, what a cool thing. Thank you so much for oh, being a massive you. part of the impetus for getting us here and, and doing this thing. I can't thing believe it. We're here. Time. We're really here. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you. We are. And happy birthday to you. And we're about to, you're about to share a lot of your music with our audience right now. We're going to hear four songs from across the catalog, including two brand new ones. Yes. Uh, and one of those brand new ones is going to be on the new record, which comes out in April. What do you feel like exactly. doing first today? I think I'm going to do that one. So, um, yeah, this is a... A song that I recorded for for this uh, brand new album. I'm so excited to put it out because I haven't put out an album of original music in in, in a hot minute, <laughs> like I don't know, like five years. So it's so very exciting, um, and I recorded it in LA with my band, uh, some amazing musicians. Um, can't wait to share it with you all. But this is one song from from that album, and uh, one of my favorites, and it's called Lost on a Cloud. What if all the grown up stopped working so hard? Dropped all their things and stared at the sky. All the busy nothings I could fill a cup, days and nights were by, and I've forgotten to be scared of. Every little minute is filled with things to do And me and you will find that there's no time to see the clouds up so high Is it so hard to remember how it all used to be? They say youth is lost on the young who never knew delightful man i think uh we're in the coolest place on the planet right now last Absolutely. night at casa de la ruina right now at, at cafe no se this is i would rather be no other place man this is so cool and uh so thank you for introducing us to this uh to this community we're feeling very welcome here we've been here for a couple of days now yes. um, can you talk about what the antigua music community has meant to you and artists that you've been able to support and collaborate and work with uh, over the years well first of all i've been doing this uh this acoustic festival uh, now for eight years and the very first one that I did was in 2014 and it was at uh, La Ermita de la Santa Cruz which is not far from here here in Antigua um, and I had I've had like a, a you know a bunch of amazing artists that I've invited obviously from 
um, the states from from Mexico from Argentina <coughs> parts of the world but um, I also like to include Guatemalan artists that I deeply admire and so I have I have invited um, artists like Isto Jueves and Mercedes Escobar who you know I know I know that they they play here they they play here at Cafe No Se, they play here in Antigua they play all over the place and uh, and it's just so beautiful to see that that, that sense of community that that this place has created this Café No Se with Ilegal Mezcal. And I just absolutely ad just adore that. Um, I'm so happy to to be a part of it with, you know, with them, for, you know, for you guys, for the first time. So it's it's really exciting. And I hope I hope we can continue it for many more years. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy to be a, a part of uh, Acoustic Festival number nine, if you want to go for it. I mean, this first year was totally yeah. delightful. Kathy Palma's set was wonderful. Oh, she's incredible. Um, everybody was. That whole, whole place is magic. This place is magic. And uh, we're only barely just into your session right now. There's a lot more music to be shared with our audience. What do you feel like doing second today? All right, I'm going to do a song that is very special to me. I, I wrote it, I co-wrote it with a, a dear friend of mine from Cuba, Santiago Laramendi, and we we decided to write the song for the legendary singer Omar Portundo, because um, she was doing an album of duets, and she had invited me to sing a duet with her. So, so I got to write the song for her, not only that, but sing it with her. And then they, they asked me to actually produce the song. So it was just just an incredible experience. And um, also we got nominated for Latin Grammys. It was just, ah, oh, man, it was so, so amazing. And of course, the dream is to to bring Omar Portuno to Guatemala sometime in the future and, and, and actually sing it live with her, which I haven't been able to do. This song was conceived during the pandemic. Um, and and produced during the pandemic, you know, she sent me her vocals. I would just like, I re I did it I did it all in LA. She she recorded in Cuba. Just just man, technology is amazing. So I want to share the song with you guys. Um, it's it's out there. It's gonna be part of her record, which is coming out also uh, next year, and wh where I'm also producing a few other songs from that album. Some amazing duets. One with Dion Warwick, another one with Kev Mo. The first time Omar Portuno singing in English. I mean, it's just really a, a dream come true to have worked with her. So this is uh, the song uh, that I sang with her, and it's called Bolero a la Vida. <laughs> sombra aprendí tu andar a dar pasos y a tambalear hoy tenemos que celebrar eres mi universo amiga y felicidad más que nada Es mi despertar Mis secretos los guardas también Mi aire, mi respiro Eres todo a la vez Vida, te traigo un bolero Porque me has querido fondo y vuelves a empezar hay que acomodarse a tu sabio va y ven vida te traigo un bolero porque me has querido y te quiero vida eres mía 
hay de nadie Vida y tiempo y espacio y queda tanto por vivir This sounds wonderful. Um, I mean, especially here, this environment is just so cool. It's um, uh, you know the coolest place on earth, as I said before. Um, what when you recommend things for people to do? Uh, first visit to Antigua. This obviously Cafe Nose would be a recommended spot. What else yes. do you tell people to do? What do you have to see? What are some of the experiences that really in uh, in the whole country or in Antigua? In uh, dealer's <laughs> choice. What, are, what? Yeah. What is it? Dealer's choice. Ooh. Whole country or well, whole all country. Central America, if you want. <laughs> Oh man, sadly I've only been to Costa Rica and, and yeah, that's it. I have not, oh, I have been to Honduras, yes, but I've only played there, so I haven't really seen it, but I know there's some amazing places in Central America. Um, Guatemala, I would tell people, of course, Antigua, I would tell people, of course, Lake Atitlan, of course, Tikal, of course, Semu Champe. <laughs> like those are like the, the, just the most incredible places. Um, that you can that you can go to in the country, um, and here in Antigua, yes, I always I always send them here to Café Noce. Um, I always send them to the Mercado Central um, or the El Mercado de El Carmen, which is a beautiful little market where you can find so many beautiful uh, handmade and you know textiles from Guatemala. Um, obviously, Casa Santo Domingo is a must. Capuchinas is a must, and just just walk everywhere and just discover things on your own you know because it's such a beautiful place to just just get lost and just you know the whole day just go walking and wandering yeah, yeah. that's what we did the first first day we just yeah. we had we had an itinerary and i don't think we followed anything on it we just started <laughs> nice. turning corners and discovering yeah. stuff and it was great very few places that that i i feel i can do that and new york being one of them i yeah. know a lot of you guys come come from there from new york but yeah that's one place where I'm like, I could just get lost there and just <laughs> discover some incredible place. Yeah, yeah, we've had a wonderful time. Uh, seen some massive parrots, which was fun. Uh, Sarah got to roast a marshmallow on lava, which was Oh yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. That. Of course, yes, I didn't say that. Hike a volcano, yes. Bacaya. Nice. Yeah. Well, Gabby, thank you very much for doing this. And uh, <laughs> what are you, we're only halfway through. There's still, still a lot more music to be shared. What do you want to do third yeah. today? Um, what do I want to do? Do, 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 do? All right. Well, I've played you one from my upcoming album, Bolero a la Vida. Ah, okay. Since we're talking about Antigua, I want to do the song that, um, that is on my album called uh, Postales. This was my third album. And okay, so, so this, this is how this song was conceived. I was um, watching a movie that was made here in Guatemala in the 1950s. And the movie is about a folk legend tale that we have here called El Sombrerón. And it just so happens that my grandfather was an actor in this movie. And 
I was just so inspired by it. But there's actually really beautiful music in it. Um, Paco Perez, who wrote Luna de Xelahu, is in it. He sings in it. And there's just a really amazing, amazing music and, and you know, footage. Um, and I was just very inspired. And I thought, and I thought to myself, man, this, this story like needs a song. So, so I wrote the song about El Sombrero. By the way, also the best candies you will find here in Antigua at, are at a tienda called El Sombrero. <laughs> All right, here we go. Al caer la tarde por el callejón, las calles vacías salen sombrero con guitarra en mano. Melodiosa voz uh, ¿Quién se puede resistir? Entró en gran silencio A sus oídos Sus pensamientos Quedó I know we, we got to have a bit of this conversation when we recorded in LA at, at the Hotel Cafe earlier this year. Um, and I'm, I want to know more about the, the forthcoming record. So it's, um, I don't know how much is public information, how much you want to share about <laughs> it, but can you divulge exactly as much about this record as you are comfortable divulging? Okay. <laughs> um, well, I, I went into the studio back in August um, I, I recorded everything with this incredible um, engineer I've always wanted to work with, Mike Piersanti, and I just brought my whole band with me. Basically, the, the, the trio, which is just um, Sebastian Imans on drums, Kimon Kirk on bass, and me, and then we had uh, a special guest on, on, on guitar, like um, David Garza on guitars, uh, Mark Rebo on guitars, um, Jim Keltner on, on drums on, on a couple of songs, who's like one of my drum heroes and um recorded about 12 songs 
um, Spanish and English, uh, some some rockers, some <laughs> some rockers, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm just I'm just excited. Like I was saying, it's the first time that I'm putting out original music in a long time. There is one song that's already out that I already released as a single. It's called Maybe Today, Maybe Tomorrow, and it has a beautiful um, video that I actually filmed here in Guatemala with Manny Rionda, he directed it, and a, a like 100% Guatemalan crew and actors, and it's really like one of my favorite videos I've ever done, and you can see it already, it's on YouTube. Um, but other than that, gosh, I, I, I wanna tell you like the album title and all that, but I, I wanna maybe keep that to myself just a little bit longer, um, and you know, reveal it all in the new year. But know that it's coming very soon, we're, we're shooting for end of April, and know that you know a lot of um, live performances will follow supporting this album so yeah. cool is the, is the music video that you just referenced is that out right now or is yes. that it is out right now it's out yeah remind yeah, yeah. me the the title of the song it's called maybe today maybe tomorrow cool yeah yeah you can check, I'll it out. check that out the uh um the crew all the crew people that we met yesterday were incredible all the staging and production people yes. like that the yeah. light show was mm-hmm. Cause I kind of I didn't know details about what we were about to walk into. I thought it was entirely possible there were going to be two PA speakers <laughs> plugged into it, and that was it. And then we walked in. Oh. and was like, oh my god, dude, these guys, pro, yeah, pros, yeah, yeah, yes, they're the absolute best. Um, you're the absolute best. Thank no. you for sharing your music with us today. And we've Thank got uh, we've got a bonus song. What do you want to do last today? Last song, last song. Um, okay, well, I I wanted to do the song um, that I have not recorded. It will not be on my next album. <laughs> um, probably on the. The, the next one, the one in two years or whatever. Um, and I just I just really love it. I love playing it. And, um, you know, sometimes I'm not too precious about, about new songs like that. It's just, I, I like the message. I wrote it three years ago, but I feel like the, the message is still pretty relevant nowadays, especially last year with the crazy year that we all had. And, and also during, during this time, during December, where you know, it's, it's a time where we're all kind of decompressing and, and, and spending time with our, with our loved ones and family and just you know, really, really doing what, what, what matters most, I feel. So anyways, this song is called Dance the Night Away. And thank you again so much.
will sit by the fire and we'll laugh and we'll eat a lot while the record player spins around. We'll say the things that we forgot to say and dance the night away. Dance the night away. Thank you so much for coming and doing this. Happy birthday Thank to you. you. Um, happy holidays to you. Cheers. The big four. To all of us. Um, <laughs> man, this is so much fun. And uh, thank you for, for coordinating, for, for setting all of this up. We appreciate it very much. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful rest of your birthday. And we'll very much stay tuned for uh, when the record is out in April. And maybe we'll see you a year from right now in this very bar. Oh my gosh, that would be a dream. Yeah. Thank you again. Gracias a todos. Paste Magazine, Ilegal Mezcal. You guys are the absolute best. A dream to work with you. Yes, let's do more. Outstanding. Yeah. All right, Mwah. see you next time. Gracias. All right. <laughs>